Um, you guys have already taken on Indy. What did you learn from that first game to prepare you for the second one? Well, it's not just what we learned from the game. It's, mm. it's what I've seen since. Uh, my my mindset, my feelings about Indy haven't changed a tremendous amount. I think I might have said at, at that point that we played them over two months ago that there's a good likelihood they're going to be a playoff team. I've not changed my tact on that. I think we're seeing all of the qualities that, that represent a playoff team. Experienced side, individuals that are capable of changing a game in an instant, and consistency. They've, they've won two of their um, most recent games, so they'll be in a reasonably confident mood. And I think, I think a little bit like us, they had a bundle of new players at the start of the season. And you're just now starting to see maybe a team that uh, Martin Rennie sees as his starting group or his first choice players. And a group of players that are building a bit more continuity, not unlike us. That previous game was the last time you guys gave up multiple goals in a single game. What has allowed you guys to buckle down defensively so much? Again, time together, time on the training field, confidence in actually getting results in difficult circumstances. All of those experiences that we just didn't have at the start of the season. The team uh, is, is slowly but surely finding their way through and tiptoeing through a tough period of time. In, in tough, I mean getting to know one another, seeing through uh, rough waters, away from home, against good teams, against different teams, in different environments, and, and they're all experiences. And I think those experiences are serving us well now, and, and just as much so the relationships that have built in the side. Yeah, 11 games in all competitions. We're still eight unbeaten, I believe, in the league. And that's something I'd love to keep intact. I know the guys would. And, and to be honest, any team that are on a decent run, see that as an opportunity to, you know, in, in dark moments, just hang on to. Um, the reality is that at the end of a very tough run of away games, we always looked at four home games and thought, Okay, what, what can we get out of these games to, to really push us on now? So we've started that off well with a, a win against Carolina. This one tomorrow night will be an extremely difficult test. And I, I do believe against a, a fellow playoff group, and, and I class us in that as well, the maintaining parity. So at the very worst, we don't get beat. Um, and of course, if we can, we edge the game and we give ourselves a little bit of a cushion from this indie group, which is standing in a really nice spot. You know, they're two points behind us. They've got two games in hand as we have on most teams. And, and they'll certainly be looking at it much the same way as I am, which is if we can squeeze a result out of this, we're in a fabulous position to push on. So big challenge. Not that you guys wanted to lose in the Open Cup, but does it make it a little easier to manage your roster in USL play to not have to worry about a cup competition outside of USL games? Um, I, I never really look at it that way. I, I, I always look at it that Louisville are a good side and if we can beat them, then it gives us confidence and certainly pushes us in the right direction. I think I've got a strong enough group that if we add extra games, and I know for sure that the players would have loved to have had another MLS game, so. You know, that's not the case at all. We gave it everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, on the night, we, we just felt slightly short. Um, you know, the fact that we now have a league campaign to, to focus on, we're in a good position to move on from. And we've got some good games at home that we can really try and take advantage of. It, it, it tells me there's a great opportunity for us to, to really strengthen the position we're in. What have you guys seen? Obviously, you've already taken on Indy once. What have you guys seen out of them from that game and then since that you can kind of take going forward to help you uh, take them down tomorrow night? Um, I think, you know, we've spent a lot of time studying the film and, you know, their tendencies individually and as a group. Um, you know, I think we're a side that we rate highly and they're going to be difficult. But, uh, you know, with our home record, we're expecting a What is behind that home record that's helped you guys do so well, especially at First Tennessee? Yeah, I think the, the fans have been a really big piece. Um, you know, the way they've gotten behind the team and the 
energy that they bring. I mean, you've seen some late goals from us. I think it really drives the group, especially in the later stages. Have you guys know, I mean, the last time you played them was a few months ago. Not that you guys wanted to lose to Louisville, but does knowing that you don't have this, you know, weekend, midweek, weekend, midweek with the Open Cup going forward make it a little bit easier to kind of I maybe even get amped up for games, but rest between them as well? Yeah, I think uh, the quick turnarounds from a Wednesday to a Saturday game can be really challenging. Um, yeah, obviously we'd love to still be in the Cup, but with that out of the way, it does give us a little more time and energy to focus towards the league. Um, so yeah, I think that helps us. Maybe we get a, to hit the reset button a little bit and, um, you know, move forward in the league. Do you guys ever keep an eye on the standings at all and see how that, that streak, especially the eight games unbeaten in the league, helped you guys kind of rise up in the Eastern Conference? Or do you not pay attention to that at all? No, I think we do. We, we know uh, we our standing and, um, you know, you try not to get too caught up in what can happen if you, you know, in the next couple games, but and just take each one day by day. But, yeah, I mean, we, we 